The way I like to work on tracks typically is just build a load of layers and then kind of slowly dissect them and take certain things out until I kind of get the sound I want. I kind of think of it like painting. I like to kind of splash all the color on and then maybe mix it with something else or take some out. Hi, my name's Rich. I make music as Dactyl. I've been touring all this year, all over the world. I've been touring with Bonobo, Troy Boy, and a bunch of my own headline shows. This is my home studio. It's where I pretty much spend my life. So I'm just gonna show you around and make some music. So I'm just gonna load up some of the patches from the bass space expansion and try and make some textures out of them. So I'm gonna bounce that to a new sample and then load it into this granular effects unit that Reason just added. It kind of deconstructs the sound and reconstructs it using grains. That would sound great. Reversed with like a tape delay on it. Just kind of adds that nice little tail on the end of it. I'm gonna bust them together in the mixer up here. So yeah, I just added a filter to everything. Um, basically high cutting all of the vocals. It gives it that kind of like washed out, distant feel. That's with it. Without it. So I'll probably mess around with the filter parameters so that that filter kind of slowly opens up. For the second vocal bus, I'm gonna add this uh, spring delay. Yeah, I'm gonna get some uh, piano in. I'm gonna double the piano take, probably bust it together. I'm actually also gonna add one track, just reversing the piano. I love the sound of piano reversed. And now I'm just gonna wash that out with a huge kind of cathedral verb. Low cut it, cut some of that noise out of the top end. Yeah. Now I use this um, organelle quite a lot. It's an awesome little uh, synthesizer and sampler. I'm just gonna have that as a kind of um, marker for where the beat's gonna be. I use this uh, Korg MS20 synthesizer quite a lot for um, kind of blip sounds. Might even just cut that very first part just to hit on the one when, the, when everything comes in here. Okay, now I think I'm gonna record some um, some percussion. I have a load of percussion and world instruments that I like to use just to kind of get ideas from. So I've just put that percussion sound into uh, this granular effects unit. What I like to do with these kind of percussive ambient sounds is I'll often um, bust them together and then kind of increase the level as they get closer to whatever the, the moment is in the track in which you want to build suspense. I'll automate the, the level on like a compressor or a limiter and it'll just build and build and build and then cut. All right, I'm gonna add some kicks. I'm just gonna add this, um, this nice little substance patch that I've been playing around with. So I like this one because it has a lot of portamento on it, so the notes kind of slide between. I'm just gonna mess around with some of the tone on it and um, a bit of the distortion as well. 
going to get some of that um, portamento going with it. Just so it has that nice whoop. So at some point I have to kind of let go of a track. If I feel like it's at a place where it might be finished, I'll t tend to kind of leave the session and then maybe come back like a week later. And if I still like it, then it kind of passes the test, I guess, and I'll maybe finish it off. So this for me definitely feels like a chorus. So I might sing on this or I might send it to a singer, but it also could just be a kind of uh, an instrumental if I went into um, more detail with the production, change the chords up a bit, but yeah. Yeah, so I just finished this little beat. I'm definitely gonna work on it more. I really like where it went. Yeah, look out for new music coming soon. All right, now get out of my studio. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. <laughs>